Uh, I tell you, nothing goes right. You can, nothing goes right. The other day, I was doing push-ups in the nude. I didn't see the mousetrap. <laughs> Hey, so this is Jeffrey Gurian here at the comic strip for the 35th annual Christmas party. Amazing. This is the 35th year that the club's been open, June 1st of 1976. And we've been doing a party every year since. Stick around and check it out and see what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a two camera shoot. I think this is a first for you, Jeffrey. It actually is, man. A two camera shoot. How many matters TV? Yeah, not bad, dude. Because I had a feeling that Judah Friedlander was going to be. I understand he's coming. It's a big day here at the Comic Strip Christmas party because the food's up front. It's usually in the back and it's up front. Well, these are the appetizers. I think there's going to be more food in the back. Whoa. Whoa. And I heard a rumor that. Cool. It's a big year, exactly. I heard a rumor that someone is actually going to be um, imitating me today at the show. Yeah, I think that's a compliment, Matt. It's, well, it's, well, it's a great camera to see. And B camera, I guess. Exactly. Oh, well done. Well done. And this is coming from the world champion. Yep. Yep. All right. Good go to see him. you, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to do one of these? You. You are, you're always too quick because you're the world champion. Oh, awesome. I'm here at the party with Howard Feller. Howard, how are you, man? Good, good. How's it going? It's going great. Yeah. It's always good to see you. Yeah, yeah, it's great to be here. Another, another, another Christmas, another comic strip party. Yeah, how many have you been to? Many, right? Many, many. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going until they, somebody, somebody recognizes me. <laughs> when did you do the John Stewart show? Before he got the Daily Show, you were on a show with I was him. On an, an unsuccessful show that he did before he got the successful show he's on now. Uh, Most people don't know that he had an unsuccessful show. No, he did. He had an unsuccessful show, and I was a big part of that. And uh, that's 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 my big uh, claim to frame, really. I was on an, an unsuccessful show that he that he had with, before he got you know be, became. I, whatever happened to John Stewart? I don't know. I've been thinking about that recently. He he and Woody Allen. You know? What play did I come and see recently? Was that a play that your wife wrote? A hell recently? gig. No, I wrote that. Oh, one. You wrote that. Hell gig. I wrote that one. It was Wait. set in a condo in Florida with a. Uh, some comics sort of uh, hitting the career wall all at the same time. One starting out, one uh, one a veteran, and one sort of on the verge of possible success. Great to see you. Happy holidays, Bill. As always, always good to see you. Thank you. And we're here with Richie. Let's say hello to Richie. My man, Richie Tinkin, the owner and the founder of the comic strip, the president of the comic strip. I'm the president. The president. <laughs> I'm, yeah. the, I'm the big shot. Isn't this amazing, Rich? 35 years. Isn't it incredible? And this is our 35th Christmas party. It's just and so fantastic. And everybody comes out for it. It's exciting. Because everybody's invited. If you ever did anything with the comic strip, you're invited to the Christmas party. So, and it was so nice that Michelle came. Lucian's, Lucian, that was his first wife, right? First wife. When's the last time you saw her? 20 years ago. Wow, amazing. Did you recognize her right away? And I walked in. Yeah. Just look any different, right? That's incredible. I understand someone is going to uh, imitate me today. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was impossible. I don't think, I don't think any, and no one can imitate me, right? There's only one you, Jeff. Well, we are, we're looking forward to an exciting year, right? We're going to do a lot of good stuff this year. Jeffrey's got a show that's going to be on uh, with the matchmaker that we're going to do here. We're going to do our version of the dating game from the comic strip. Right. That's only one of our projects. Our book is going to be due this year. We're doing the book and the channel. And we're, working, going on. and we're working on a documentary. If we ever get done with it. <laughs> but it should be fun. We'll be seeing a lot of each other. And thanks. It's great to see you. Happy holidays. As usual. All the best. Hey, I'm here with Kyle Grooms. Ky Kyle Grooms claims that he needs a light. Te teeth and eyes. Sam? Yeah, you gotta, yeah, I, I can't smile the whole time. No. So listen, so first of all, happy holidays. It's great happy to see holidays. you. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank I, you. I get to see you here a lot. I love watching you perform. Mm -hmm. what, do, what, do you do, what are you working on these days besides performing at all the clubs? I'm working on new material, man. It's like another year I need to write. I feel like I need a new hour. How often do you write? I try to write uh, like every day, but I just add stuff on to my act. I don't do stuff every day, but I think about jokes every day. I'm yeah. always fascinated by the process because everyone has their own process. Do you, do you type out your stuff and memorize it or do you just wing it and go on stage with an idea and see what comes up? Uh, I just write a little note. 
you know, a little note about what it is. And then when I'm really trying to perfect it, I'll write it out word by word just to see if I could find the rhythm in it. But mostly I wing it on stage, you know. That's the hardest thing to do. But I guess it only comes with a lot of stage time. Yeah, because I kind of know my rhythm, you know. I'm starting to learn my rhythm. But uh, writing it out helps, but I'm not that disciplined all the time, you know. Hey, what's up, Rich? Yeah. Your, your, your Barack Obama just kills, man. When you do... Oh, thank you, man. Would you do a little something for the Comedy Matters audience? Yeah, I, I want to say uh, the Comedy Matters. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We may not get there this year, but next year you can have uh, hope under the tree. Uh, that, that's about, that's my old <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. You're great. It's good to see you as always. Oh, thanks, man. All I the like best. This, I like so I'm movie. here with Bob Wax, the, uh, the co-owner and the co-founder of this amazing club, The Comic Strip. Can you believe it's 35 years, Bob? No, I, I can't. It really, it seems like a dream. And um, Richie just brought me over and said, here's Michelle. Do you remember Michelle? I said, of course I remember Michelle. Michelle was one of our original servers and went on uh, to marry Lucian Hold. And I said, Michelle, when did you start with us? She said, it's 35 years ago. I, I can't believe it. It just... Um, it's been like a dream. It's you know? inconceivable, right? It, it is un inconceivable to uh, think that when we started, it was a lark, but a very serious endeavor. But we were the stepchild. There was Catch a Rising Star in the improv, and who the hell were we to think that we could capture the imagination of the city and the comedians, but we did. So I'm here with Kristen J. Eddy, and she produces something amazing. Uh, she produces Anthony Anderson's mixtape show. Mixtape comedy yeah. show, yes. Now, how did that come about? Visitor. I am a regular visitor. I love that show. How did that come to be? How did you get involved with Anthony? How did to be I get involved? Oh, well, my history is with the original Def Comedy Jam from back in the days, and I knew Royale Watkins from the early years, even though I'm only 24. Exactly. What were you doing with Def Jam? I was working with the talent back then. Really? Yes. So you're friends with Russell? Yeah, well, yeah, we go way back. Russell, oh, yeah. loan me some money. <laughs> Yeah, um, exactly. I worked yeah. with Bob Sumner. I was his assistant back then. So that was, yeah, that was the early days with Chris Tucker and the late Bernie Mac and Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer, all the good ones and many more. You were friends with Patrice, right? I was, yes. Very yeah, sad. That was very sad. Very sad. You know, he and I were really close. I, yeah. I was his co-host on the Black Phillip show. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said I was the only white man he ever met who knew all the words to bitch better have my money. <laughs> He said, That's too funny. He said That's he never had. We yeah. got a show coming up December yes. December 18th. It December is, right? 18th, December 8 18th, 8 o'clock, and we start on time. And we stream live on Ustream, Mixtape Comedy Show on Ustream. Yes, so it's going to be Anthony and Royale Watkins and a host of great entertainers. They get like the best comics, but they also do hip hop. We do a freestyle rap battle and we have a closing music artist, but we never announce who's on the show. You just have to trust that it's going to be an amazing show. And you can look at past shows on mixtapecomedy.com. Last time Anthony brought me up on stage to give me a shout out because he said he appreciated that I always write about it. Yes, you do. You yeah. do. You look so, out, Jeffrey. So, uh, <laughs> so enjoy the party today. It was great to, to have see our you. article. <laughs> exactly. Bitch better have our article. It was so great to see you as always. You. Happy holidays. Mwah. So I'm here with Gladys Simon who is a legend in comedy. Really, Gladys Simon used to run a show at Hamburger Harry's right, for many Cold, years. Right, and at Cold Waters before that. And now she does the open mic shows here at the Comic Strip on Wednesdays and Friday nights. God. So happy that you're here celebrating. Jeffrey, you are so funny. I would like to do an act with you. Hey, Jim yes. Mandrinos is a staple at this club, as he is on the comedy circuit. A staple. A staple. A sta that, when's the last time you were called a staple? Wow, that, that's been a while. How you doing, Jeffrey? I'm doing great, man. And happy it's always holidays. good to happy holidays to you, too. Thank you so much. I heard somebody's going to be imitating me today. Really? Yeah. Oh, I got to stick around for I didn't that. I think that was going to be possible, but somebody's going to try. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to be fun. That's going to be one of the highlights of the evening, I think. And Corey Kahaney. Hi, Corey. How are you? I'm good. I have a mouthful of food. Pigs in the blanket. Make, ah. make the holidays. Pigs in the blanket. You can't. I know. I got here early just for the pigs in the blanket. Yeah. Well, maybe they were fresher. I got into comedy for the pigs in the blanket, but different kind. I, I know that he's had quite a few. Quite a few pigs in a blanket. Yeah. Quite a few pigs we're talking blanket. not about the food now. No, we, we retired the blanket. Good to see you, man, as Good always. You. Happy holidays. You too. Great to see you, Corey. Good to see you. Happy holidays. 
Happy holidays. Take care. All right, we need to focus. Helen Hong always says, no matter where I see her, she says she has food in her mouth. Of course, like, I fell for that three I've been times here already. for like 15 minutes without food in my mouth, and the second I put a piece of chicken in my mouth, Jeffy's like, let's talk on camera. So I'm like, mom, 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 mom. The chicken is amazing. How fun was that when I ran into you in California? Wasn't that cool? It was, was really cool. It was actually a really nice. We were both in LA at the same time, and it was totally serendipitous. I looked up, and I'm like, that's Jeffrey Gurian. What is he doing here? And it was at the improv. It was at the Improv. It was on a Latino show. Yeah, so the we two were of us like, are perfect. We, <laughs> we were the only non-Latinos, and we both went up. We were like, uh, and nobody noticed that we weren't Latino. We both went up. We were like, "What's up, essays?" Um, yes, anyone, anyone. And we both killed, by the way, which was amazing. We both did really well. You did great. Thank you. And I did great. Now I'm actually moving to Los Angeles. Really? When are you yeah, going? I'm leaving in January. Oh, well, yeah. I'm so glad I got to see you I before. Know. Now I have I a new know. friend to visit when I'm out Yay. in L.A. We, Yay. Can, we can do Mexican shows all the together. time together. Great to see you. Happy, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Have the chicken. It's really good. Good luck in L.A. We're here with J.J. Ramirez. Hello. Who has also been in the club for a really long time. And, and Barry Weintraub as well. Hello, how are you? I was just wondering about the hair. What is with that? What does that look? I'm shipping again. out. I'm shipping out. <laughs> I'm shipping out. It's nice to be still here after 30 years doing my thing. and 35 years. Who? Oh. <laughs> 30 for me. Oh, 30 for you. 30 oh. for me. But when he comes out on stage, you've never seen somebody kill the audience like he does. When he's on stage, the audience is screaming. And it's just fantastic to watch. Uh, my friend Jeffrey here, who's a brilliant writer. Great to see you. I appreciate it. Thank Happy you very much. Happy holidays. Buddy. You too, man. Merry Christmas, everybody. All Happy holidays. Sean P. Dar, there are rumors here that someone's going to imitate me today. You have any idea who that could be? I have no idea. I'm not sure. Are you sure you'd be able? Are you licensed? Are you trademarked? I didn't know that anyone could imitate me, but it's it's great. We're excited about seeing I, it. I think I heard somebody's going to give it a try. Uh, please help me welcome to the stage uh, the host of Late Night, Jeffrey Gorian. Jeffrey Gorian, everybody. Jeffrey Gorian. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Oh wow, gee whiz, what a great show it's been so far. Uh, thank you all for coming. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. If Phil Spector fucked Elton John. <laughs> it's great to have an audience. Last time we tried this without an audience, it fucking sucked. <laughs> Do you guys ever wake up in the morning and you just have the urge to vote and there's no election? <laughs> How do you curb that urge to cast a ballot? <laughs> I thank you all for coming out. And make sure, make sure you guys read my, uh, my blog, Comedy Matters. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming. Uh, I was walking down the street and I saw Eddie Murphy putting his luggage in a taxi cab and I helped him. That video is going to be on the site soon. <laughs> So if you've ever been on television or stage, please meet me in the lobby and we'll take a picture. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, hey, Rich, look who's here. It's Jeffrey Gurian. Oh my goodness, what are you doing here? I always wanted to meet Jeffrey Gurian. <laughs> a lot of people tell me that, actually. People You're are always very excited to meet me. I'm very famous. Jeffrey, you gotta remember that comedy matters. Comedy does matter, and I want to make sure that's part of my mission. It's Jeffrey Gurian, known throughout every room of his apartment. That's true. I'm a bit of a local celebrity. Um, no, known by everyone in his family. Yes, uh, mostly liked. Yeah, I think he did a great job. It's, oh, a, it's a great tribute to be it imitated. It my heart to hear you say that. That's so great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And I told him next time I'm going to give him my act so he can learn it. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still learning. I thought, you had to, I thought you had to give it back to where you got it. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with J.R. Ravitz yes, and, uh, and uh, his protege, Jake. Jake, how are you? Good. Did Thank you know you, that Jake. your dad runs this club? Isn't that cool? Is J.R., have you been here like 15 years? And Jeff, 17. 17 yeah. years. Come on in. All right, let's go to the front. Okay. That is incredible. Yes, and I've laughed for 34 of them. You used to be a comic, right? Well, not really, Jeff. You know, not every day. It's a day in every man's life. He's got to say what side of the fence does he belong, and uh, I belong on this side. But when you do the lottery show, you know, Jr. created uh, every Tuesday night here at the comic strip. They shoot the lottery show, 
because this is the club that most comics want to perform in. And years ago, there used to be a lottery, and it would only be like every few months. Is that That's correct? That's right. Quarterly, yes. Quarterly. Well, now they do it every Tuesday night, and JR created this great show that is filmed. It's it's uh, it, it goes on Ustream. Is that correct? That is correct. Live stream and uh, live www.lotteryshowthelotteryshow.com. Every Tuesday at 10.30 p.m. At 10.30 p.m. And I have to say, JR is one of the judges. He's like the final voice. You are very often funnier than the comic. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I agree with you. And you know that because I sit next to you and you yeah, always look at my me. Big, my biggest, yeah, my biggest rooter. That's great. Who cares about all the other people? I come to see JR. That's right. I come for the same reason. Now, I'm wondering if I could have a guest spot at the dinner tonight. Is that possible? <laughs> well, you're, you know, you are, you know, you're hosting the uh, the late night portion of the show. Tonight, not yeah. not you actually, but uh, a guy whose impression of you is if you close your eyes, you couldn't tell the difference on that's the voice. A, that's His a fright, really. It's unbelievable. I can't I can't wait to see <laughs> it. Laugh. I've heard. Yeah. I've you're, heard. You're in some videos. It's uh, you're by the you might be the star of this show. That's hysterical. Yeah. Should I leave now, or should I just think that if it's a roast, it's an honor? It's both, yes. <laughs> <laughs> leave now. <laughs> Come here. Hey, I'm with Diane Passage here, and she's telling me about a new reality show that she's on. Tell me a little about it. I'm doing a pilot for a show called Wall Street Wives, and it's like, I don't fit in. You know that Sesame Street song, like, which one of these doesn't belong? Yeah. That runs through like my head on camera. <laughs> I think it'll be very endearing. Are you already shooting it? Yeah. And how did that come about? I'm always fascinated by stuff like that. The creator contacted me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's and so I was nice. like, why not? It sounds like fun. Yeah, it's exciting. And you're, and you're, 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 you have on camera experience. You're used to being in, in the biz. Dancing. So. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, yeah. I wish you lots of luck Thank with it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad to see you here today. Happy oh, holidays. Happy holidays. Thanks. Thanks a lot. The party's getting crazy. I'm here with Angry Bob. Bob, it's good to see you, man. I like he says it's getting crazy, and then he says hello to Bob. Shut up with the food over there. My God. It's good to see you, Jeffrey. You're looking adorable as usual. <laughs> That's an interesting way to be described, to be adorable, but I'll take it. It's always good. You did a big thing at Comic-Con, didn't you? Tell did us, Comedy Matters viewers, about that. Well, that was a lot of fun, uh, doing um, horrible pedophile jokes on the Hasbro Kids stage. Um, it was great, you know, the people who know me and love me enjoyed it, and the people who didn't know who the hell I was were horrified, and I think suing Comic-Con and the Javits Center. <laughs> but Hasbro probably asked you to be their spokesperson, right? Hasbro wants to make an angry pop game. You start with a million dollars, and you end up penniless and dead, buried in Potter's Field, and you know you've won. Hey, I'm here with my boy Dante Nero. What's Great to see on, you, Dante. Okay, same here, man. It's Happy holidays. Same to you, brother. Same to you. It's always good to see you, man. Yeah, same here. Just, you know, trying to get past this loss, you know, so I figured I'd come out and uh, spend time with the family. You start to realize that we're really a community, you know? That's one of the things that hit me. I don't know if you saw, you know, Dante was very close to Patrice O'Neill, and that's why I was so honored when these guys invited me to be their co-host on the Black Phillips Black show. Black Phillips show, yeah, man. And, and it's funny because I'm still getting messages from guys who, who we helped with that. They're, they're still, t and I mean, what was that, like four, 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 about four years ago? 2008. 2008. 2008. Like three years ago. Three years I still ago. get messages too from people right, saying, and you guys were great yeah, on that we show. Wanted, we bring it back, bring it back. So, you know what I mean? It's just nice to know that you do something and it matters to people. You know. What are you doing these days? I know you're performing at all the clubs. Yeah, I'm doing the club stuff. I got a, I got a movie coming out called Goat with um, Armand Asante and um, Vincent Pastore, Ice-T, and Ja Rule. And um, just working. It's working called Goat? G-O-A-T? Goat, yes. What's it about? A gangster movie. Um, nat naturally, I'm choking somebody. This is one of my dearest and oldest friends. Oldest in terms of how long we know each other. <laughs> She's one of my youngest friends, actually. We go back so far. Absolutely. It's so great to see you. Happy, happy holidays. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've never holidays. been here before. Pardon me? I've never been here before. You've never been here. You know what it took for me to get her to come to a comedy club? <laughs> this is amazing. She goes to the most elegant clubs in the world. So to get her to come to the comic strip is a big thing. <laughs> Well, for you, anytime. Tell us uh, what is going on with your uh, foundation. Well, my foundation, energyup.org, we just got the okay to have and to spearhead the first New York City sugar-free school. Energy Up, 
Woo! I had to join my boy Greer Barnes. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, everybody? Me and Greer go way back. Yes, we do. A long way back. I've been a fan of yours before you even knew it. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> yes, you have always been there. Thank you, brother. Now, I got to say, Greer went through a transition because I see for a long time he was very thugged out. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't start out that way. Then you went through this. Tell me about that. Yeah, I was, I'm not a thug. It's just like it's the way it, the clothes I put together make me look a little menacing sometimes. But I'm not. I'm not menacing at all. So. <laughs> but you have an interesting background. You're half Jewish, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I was raised a Jew. Um, uh, yeah, now I am uh, religionless, I guess. Uh, Once a Jew, always a Jew. <laughs> That's what I've heard. So he looks Jewish. <laughs> In the vein of Sammy Davis. <laughs> right on. We love Marina Franklin. Happy Hi, holidays. happy holiday. Thank you. Thank you. You've been doing so much lately. I did the uh, very difficult to get into Melbourne Comedy Festival. So I know a lot about Aborigine people. One of them actually pointed to me and said, there's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Marina Franklin, a.k.a. the sexy fairy, right? Love you, baby. Oh, thank you. Happy holidays. All the best. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes. All the Happy best. Hanukkah. This is Richie's wife, Jeannie. Hi. Say hi, Andrea. Hi, Andrea Mesvinsky. Nice to see you. One of the regulars here at the Strip and very funny, I might add. Thank you. Uh, uh, see you today. You look very festive. We love him. He's the best. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to take him with me on the road, but I have to find the proper mix of. Porn, Jewish. Well, I was going to say, she didn't mean for a show either. She's just going to take me on the road with her. We'd have no idea what she's going to do. I but drives. Right. The rest I'll take care of. Right. It doesn't matter if I'm funny as long as I can drive and I can see at night. She's actually funny. Please welcome the world famous Comic Strip Live annual holiday party 2011. Great to see everybody. How you doing tonight? Hey, we're backstage here with Ray Ellen. Hello. Ray. Hey, hey, Jeffrey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in minutes it's now. Been, it's, it's, been, been, it's been minutes, that's absolute right. Absolute minutes. <laughs> yeah, we had fun the other night, didn't we? we? Did. Jeff Gurian has a sensational car. It is clean, it is stylish, it is clean, it is white, <laughs> it is clean, it is leather. Did it he is, mention it's clean? It is very, very clean. It really is a gorgeous car. Thank you. I loved it. And we had fun in it. We had a great time. And I have good music, wait, right? Wait, it's I like want to clarify. Well, clarify. We, we oh, say, well, it wasn't just you had, and I. Yeah, we had fun in Jeff's <laughs> Yeah, Jeffrey and I had fun in his car. It sounds very, very creepy. I was in the front. He was in the back. Let's clarify yeah. that. Yes. Uh -huh. And we had company, so we weren't just alone. But we had a lot of fun. Now it sounds like we're disgusting. That's great. We, we had company. We had a good time. It was fine, yeah. It was great. It was good. Yeah. So Ray hosts a lot of shows here at the Comic Strip. He's an amazing entertainer. Uh, he does Late Net. I do. Right? I do uh, Late Net. It's uh, the host of Late Net yeah. comedy on the internet. It's like the Tonight Show, uh, like the Tonight Show for the web. Yeah, a lot of fun. And appears at clubs all over the place. But he's a regular here. I mean, he's a long-standing regular. If you want funny, you count on Ray Ellen. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. And if you want a clean car, you count on Jeffrey Gurry. <laughs> <laughs> I am hosting the the holiday party, which is it's it's an honor to be asked to do it. And I uh, just it's easy, just keep things moving along. Show some Christmas videos. Introduce the owners. Uh, that sort of thing. It's great to see you, man. As always, happy holidays. Thank you too. Happy holidays. All the best. And if anyone wants to try out the cleanest car in America, <laughs> Jeffrey Gurian Auto. <laughs> Jeffrey at JeffreyGurian.com. That's yes. right. Yes. Hey, Nori. Wait, I want to say hello to Nori first. Nori Davis, my oh man, my Nori. What's up, brother? My man, Gurian. What's up, baby? <laughs> Good to How see you, doing, man? I'm doing great. All right, all I'm right. Doing great. Funny tonight? You're so funny. Oh, well, thank you, man. And, thank you. Hey, I saw you in Russell's show. You killed it. Russell Simmons. He was in Russell Simmons' new stand-up show. Yes. Tell uh, us about it. Russell Simmons Presents the Ruckus on Comedy Central. It comes out February 23rd. And uh, it's my first Comedy Central debut. I've been doing it for seven, eight years now. I'm very excited about it. I'm just learning and growing. I've been there with Jeffrey the whole time. We've been doing the same set. But I was so proud to see your name up there because you're like one of the first people breaking through at that level. It was very cool for you to be on that show, man. Well, I'm honored for you to say that. You know, I'm very humble about what I do and I always think I can go harder and push. So I'm just very blessed at what I get and what I do and I'm having a great time. That's it. And I'm loving seeing you do great, man. Oh, All man. the best. God bless, man. You too, brother. God bless. Comedy Matters. Comedy Matters. NoriDavis.com. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Rock, everyone.
There's a lot of racism stuff in this movie. A lot of racism. Who's more racist? Who's more racist? White people or black people? Black people. Black people. You know why? Because we hate black people too. Everything white people don't like about black people, black people really don't like about black people. It's like a civil war going on between black people right now. There's two sides. There's two sides. There's black people and the snakes. Jordan Rock, okay? Hey, Jordan, you just, that was an amazing thing that you just did on stage. <laughs> I just made fun of my brother for five minutes. I just did, I just, uh. No, but you didn't make fun of him, you channeled him. You actually, here, let me get around, so turn this way a little bit. You actually channeled Chrissy, man, which I thought was amazing. I, I channeled in my inner Chrissy, and uh, I did an awesome impersonation for like four minutes just that it was awesome but you know what's amazing we don't often bring up that you're Chris Rock's brother like when like when we introduce you on stage we would never mention that you're from the Rock family we just say hey coming out a funny comic Jordan Rock yeah. so but who was it who asked you to do Chris the impression of Chris uh, you know I went through them all uh, we were just doing impressions of comics and they thought who I should do I was I went from Sherrod to Tony to I was like oh everybody knows Chris so I'll just go ahead and do Chris. Thanks, man. Always welcome, good to man. see you. You're welcome. Have a good night, man. You too. Hey, John Fish is here. We could talk to John. John Fish. Hey, guys. What's up, John? How are you? Oh, that was an awesome show. Wasn't it? Yeah. That was incredible, right? Yeah. Is that you or is that somebody doing you? <laughs> that was you, you, You're judging by the hair. Right. He did it. I got to find out oh, where he got you, that wig. He had your inflection down. Did he really? Yes. See, I couldn't hear it. People uh, said that it sounded like me, yeah, but I couldn't hear it. He should have memorized the jokes, though. He didn't. He <laughs> fucked up the jokes. See, at least the guy who did Modi took the time to memorize yeah. his act, yeah. you know? So I'll with take me. Take him under your like, wing, and uh, there's always I'll next year. Like What's on the uh, horizon for you? I know you're always doing something fun. Uh, headlining Gotham Comedy Club. Nice. When is that? December 23rd and 24th. Uh, it's great to see you, man, you as always. Happy Thanks. holidays. Happy holidays. All the best. Happy Hanukkah. So I'm here with Sherrod Small. Do you know that we were packing up already, and I'm like, listen, we cannot leave until we speak to Sherrod Small. Do you I appreciate that? that. I mean, it's not a party without Sherrod Small. And what's happening with you? Bring us up to date on what's going on with you. What are you doing? Just what are you working, working on? Just working. Just, working hard. Just telling these jokes. These jokes won't tell themselves, Jeff. <laughs> I've been working on uh, Are We There Yet on TBS and doing a lot of like TV appearances and whatnot and road gigs and everything. Tell me about Are We There Yet. It's a TBS show. Ice Cube produces it with uh, Matt Alvarez and Ali Leroy as the director. He did uh, Everybody Hates Chris. Any white people involved? A lot of white people. Daryl Hammond's on the show all the time and Horatio Sands. I don't really count Horatio as a white dude, yeah. but I'll put him on the list. Wasn't Jordy funny doing Chris? Yeah, he was so great. Uh, Jordan, he, they grow up so fast, don't they? Isn't that right? Walking and talking. He's killing. He killed it. I can't wait to send the video to Chrissy. That's what he said. He goes, he got to show it to Chris, but he wants him to see the whole thing. Yes, yes. He got to see the whole show. Yeah. yeah. It was a great show. And Tony, I want Tony to see it too. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, be, it, it, it'll be fantastic. We all stand in a house and imitate Chrissy. Never outside really the house, serious? though. Yeah, this yeah. is the first time outside the house. Usually we don't even mention that Jordan is related to him. We don't say right. Jordan Rock, Chris Rock's brother. Nobody wants that. Nobody, nobody wants that because yeah. Chrissy, uh, it, let's be honest here, he'll ruin your career. If people <laughs> exactly. uh, associate you with him, yeah, exactly. your comedy career is over. Yeah, so we never, we never bring it up. He's yeah. awful. He's awful. That's why you don't want to... You don't want to be have anything to do with him. He's a hack. Yeah. That's why we don't even say you're his cousin. He's, he's the black carrot top, if you ask me. He's the black sheep of the family. That's right, the black sheep, the white it's sheep. like calling, the pot calling the kettle black. Or the pot calling a pot a pot. Right. In this joke, I'm the pot and Jordan. the kettle. <laughs> That's a, he's full of jokes, this Jeffrey oh, Gurian. No full, full of jokes. Full of jokes. Thank you for coming on. It's always great to see you. Thank Happy you, Happy holidays. Jeff. Jeff, who loves you? Now, now we can, who loves me? Tell yeah, me. I love you. Thank you. Love. Now it's a show because Sherrod Small has been on it. Now we can end in the right way. <laughs> in your face, Kevin Hart. Fabulous. I had a great time. Fabulous. 35 years at the comic strip.